Hello Buddy Fighters, Jay here. Today we're looking at the rest of the cards from Overturn Thunder Empire. Now before we do get into this though, I do want to say that Buddy Fight Wiki also has these cards laid out really nice for rarity. So you guys can check out the list on Buddy Spoiler if you like more visual and on Buddy Fight Wiki as well. I'll leave a link to both of them in the description below. And also sorry for not uploading Buddy Fight videos for a little while. But anyways, we've got a ton of incredible cards, a lot of really strong ones, and maybe some other not so strong ones including um, lists for the trial deck as well for the new Thunder Emperor's Fang flag. Anyways, first off, let's start off with this card right here, Black Sand Castle. Now, big thing with bots is his ability during your turn, this card cannot be destroyed, which definitely did help with a lot of aggro, but he couldn't be returned to hand. Now, this just stops that completely. So it's a set card. Um, I believe it's also supposed to be um, Black Dragon, but um, it says here it's only Thunder Empire defense, so it's not a Black Dragon set. All Thunder Empire on your field cannot be returned to hand by opponent's card effect. So now, you don't need fanning on your field. Bots um, can't be destroyed nor returned to hand if you have this card in the field, which is definitely nice. Because a lot of cards like um, Dragon Spell, Hiding Bottom, was turning bots to hand because of his low stats. Bob Bots does stop that because he has uh, 6,000 defense. Pretty high, um, you know, the 13k power as well. So definitely, it, did, it adds to Thunder Empire's aggro as well, just because it's one last thing that they can really be stopped by. Resting cards doesn't really help because of Overturn that can stand all cards in your field, or Trial Deck Bastards can stand too. And also, there is, uh, what else? Nullifying abilities that can still stop Thunder Empire, but Overturn, you know, can't be nullified. So you can still stand, get off some attacks, and Lance or whatever if you need to, but definitely interesting card. And then Counteract, during your opponent's turn, if you have two or more world names in your field, because, you know, we're focusing on different worlds for Thunder Emperor's Fang. When you put this card on your field in the drop zone, if you do for this turn, next time damage should be dealt to you, it is reduced by 3. So, Reducer is already nice, especially because so far, we've only gotten shields and nullifiers for Thunder Empire, but definitely a great card. Um, Thunder Empire is just a strong force. I mean, nullifying abilities, you still have overturns, so you can still stand and attack, get whatever attacks you need, and like you still have critical boosters, and you guys can just check out the cards and see all different stuff, and if you guys do want me to do some more combos or stuff like that. Anyways, speaking of nullify cards, we got a Hero World nullify card, so awesome Hero World, kind of getting a small thing right here. The only cast card if you're being attacked, counter, nullify, attack, and gain a life. So it's basically a green dragon shield for Hero World and Thunder Empire, which is really awesome. There's also this interesting size one mover, Rescue Dragon Electric Paddle, so don't worry, Rescue Dragons are still alive, and they even got a Thunder Empire form right here. You have two or more different worlds, among cards you feel this card gets power plus 5,000 with moves. So, you know, you're only getting two new hero cards, but it's better than nothing. And, like, it's still interesting. Come seriously is basically Green Dragon Shield. Anyways, this card. When I saw this item, it blew my mind. And the fact that it's in the trial deck also blew my mind. Anyways, Invoked Thunder Deity Dorai. Now, it's definitely a big thing for Thunder Empire. Like, they didn't really have much problems carrying out the center because, you know, bots is triple attack. Now they got overturned and just stand everything. But this, I feel, definitely will help because 1 gauge, 1 life to equip, 5,000 power, which is pretty good in critical, plus 2. When it attacks for this turn, for the entire turn, not for just like one battle, for this turn, a monster or item on your field gets penetrated. So you can give this to your size 1, you can give this to your size 2 bots, so definitely having that penetrate helps you to get off that extra damage. Not that Thunder Empire really needed it too much, but it's still nice to have if you just want to test it out. Um... Again, this card doesn't come out, but I do definitely want to test it out on Buddy Fight Area sometime if I can, before the deck and everything comes out. But it's definitely an interesting card, and the fact that it's in the trial deck as well. I mean, look at that art, like, just having that Danger World Spirit. I don't know if it's supposed to be a dual golem, sorry, dual dragon, but still looks incredible. And the fact that you can give bots that penetrate, like, try and guard off your center with something that doesn't all five penetrate, and my goodness, you'll just get absolutely destroyed. So, definitely a card that caught my eye. This card, also really interesting. Great card for a dungeon, sorry, Danger World. I keep calling dungeon, I keep calling Danger World dungeon. Danger World and Thunder Empire. Um, when your item attacks, choose and use one of the following two. For this turn, your weapon gets double attack and put a soul from a monster in close field into the drop zone. Sorry, those are two separate effects. So you choose either getting double attack or putting a soul. This card, oh yeah, and by the way, soul from a monster. It's really interesting. Someone pointed this out that you could use both effects because you get double attack. And then when your item attacks, it activates again. Um, I don't know if it's a mistranslation, but I feel like this wasn't meant to be, like, both effects to be used twice. So, we'll have to see for English release, but definitely an interesting card. 
Dual Golem still looking absolutely crazy. You've got a size 1 Dual Golem that can destroy size 1 or lesser spell. You've also got this crazy card, size 0. You know, just stuff to fill up your field and definitely just so much sideboard deep. Like, you have a Dual Golem that can just destroy all monsters in your opponent's field. Dual Golems that can destroy items, destroy spells. Like, it's just pretty insane. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this from the anime as well. This card is also pretty interesting. It's basically a stack critter for 5th Omnis that can't be nullified. Um, if you can actually pair this up and set up a combo with um, the Fab uh, Fabulous Cane Rod, you can actually use this because it was updated to be monsters. So you guys can check the wiki or buddy spoiler. But yeah, you can somehow get a 6 crit double attacker that can't be nullified. Again, it's really hard to set up, but definitely an interesting concept. They played around with it in Buddy Fight Area. The Talica Servant, so Darkness Dragon World. They're still scary. They're still getting support in this. Definitely an interesting card to see in the trial deck is Black Volt Ring. To gauge counter stain a monster field, but this turn gets power plus 2000. I definitely remember, like, when Prisms first came out, like, especially because they have just slightly more defense, so you can't get over it. This card definitely helps. And the fact that you're getting a stand card, um, it is two gauge because, you know, you only start with one gauge in Thunder Emperor's Fang, but it's still nice that you're getting a stand card in the trial deck, especially for starters. And the trial deck, I can say, actually looks pretty amazing for just being a trial deck or a starter deck, whatever you want to call it. I know there's differences between the two, but... Anyways, really interesting stuff. Another dual golem spell. Deal damage, gauge. It's just nice. It's just there. More items for dual golems. Like, dual golems right now look absolutely incredible, and I did want to invest some money maybe into buying some boxes for this set or something else, because I do have some money saved up because I didn't spend as much on other sets. So I'm still thinking about it. If you guys have any suggestions, if you want me to make a Chaos or Thunder Empire deck, I feel like I have to go with Thunder Empire just because of this new set, but I feel like Chaos is better just because it has higher critical, because Thunder Empire focuses on more attacks, but they don't have um, as much critical because, you know, they can't have Drag Golem in the deck, which Drag Golem is just absolutely insane card. Anyways, you got some more interesting, you got a um, Boomerang Dragon right here, for Danger World, for whatever the reason, it's just there. A lot of interesting trial deck cards, like this card, when it's to field, gain a life, and you have two different world names. Um, and if you're destroying monsters, you opponent's field. So definitely, when you're making Thunder Emperor's Fang, having a good balance between having different worlds is definitely a big thing. Um, I know Saphir is definitely a great card. River Pain is really great as well. The problem with River Pain is that if you have Dragon Cross on your field, Dragon Cross doesn't gain double attack. Um, you also got some new Chaos cards. This one's a little bit interesting. Destroy monster in your opponent's field. Um, counter, destroy monster in your opponent's field. Like... You know, just some small chaos stuff here and there. Um, bigger ones were like Edward and other ones I revealed before. And a new Sun Dragon Guardians card, which is really interesting to see that, you know, at least some other stuff are getting a little bit of support. And Guardians did get some other triple rares and stuff. So let's go back and see what else, what else we can find. This card. Double Attacker Dual Golem. It is a bit gauge heavy, but the fact that you have a Double Attacker Dual Golem, I mean, already he's up to 2 crit if you have a Dual Golem equipped. Sorry, Dual Golem item equipped. And then, you use Overkill, and he's already a 4 crit double attacker, like... Dual Golems just keep seeming crazier and absolutely crazier to me. I mean, there is that Tyrant defense spell, you know, pay 1 gauge 4 life, you have a Tyrant item, monster in your field, rest all cards in your opponent's field, but... So far, Dual Golems don't have a rest card, but jeez, they're just the ultimate rush. Like, they got Drag Golem first turn, you don't have the right setup to stop them, they just absolutely just come in. Um, I don't know for those who have seen this, but it's interesting split damage impact card for dual golems. I believe there's art on the wiki or somewhere, but I'm just too lazy to get it right now. Chaos Vidar. Interesting card when it enters the field. Um, um, <laughs> I can't even speak. Cardian opponent's field gets power minus 1,000, defense minus 2,000, and critical minus 1. So basically it's a debuffer. So you can use Chaos Chain to destroy it. For example, at the start of your, uh, sorry, let's say at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase. Chaos card from your hand. Um, let's say your opponent's Bobbots on the field, minus crit ones, Bobbots, Bobbots trades and takes down your gear ground center, Chaos straight, destroy Chaos Vidar, and another minus one crit to Bobbots. Plus when it attacks, draw a card, um, and you know, has other abilities as well, set, gauge, gain of life, and penetrate. So it's an interesting card, um, definitely, I believe it was a triple rare if I remember correctly. This card, water is a thing. When it's destroyed, destroy monster opponent's field, steal gauge, and you gain a gauge, so interesting to see that water is getting a concept, so... Definitely, it's really great to see other stuff getting support as well. Uh, for example, like, uh, Water, Skull Warriors. I don't think Skull Warriors got as much, but Tsuki Kage and Byakuya, you know, they got that overturn. I wish there was a new Gonjin Maru, or maybe uh, we'll see something in the future, maybe in, like, a climax 
for Buddy Fight X if that happens. But I was really hoping for a new Gojin Maru, but they still got some awesome support anyways. Purgatory Knights, Ring Blade Dragon. When a card you feel destroyed by your card effects, stand this card. It's a stand card, so yeah, that's the thing. Um, here's the card I was talking about, 1 gauge, 1 life. AK power, double attack, not bad. Um, rest card for Thunder Empire, yeah. Um, replace those shields, let's get this card. 1 life, that's it. This is a very simple call cost, sorry, cast cost, you start with 11 life. Can you choose a monster you post field with critical equal, lower than your um, items critical, and rest it. Only problem I have with this card is usually um, your critical of your item is only going to be high during your turn, maybe from globs or something with Drago Cross. Other than that, this card can only rest, because usually, you know, Thunder Empire uh, items, let's say for example, Drago Royale and Drago Cross, which is the double rare in the set, uh, you know, Gauss Signature item, it's only got two crits, so you can only rest monsters with. Uh, critical to a lower and you can't rest items, but it's still nice to see that Thunder Empire and of course Danger World as well is getting this So that's really cool to see interesting new Ogre Glacier uh, What else is there? Japanese blades, they're kind of getting dual like basically dual building. That's what this is You only equip this card if you have Blade Beast on your field. Quick cost pay one gauge You have this card equipped you equip another Japanese blade other than you know this card So basically you can have you can basically do it with this and at 7k power He's usually able to do quite a good amount because a lot of like the average of defense nowadays is seven. So if you're above that, you're it's basically average defense for high powerful monsters like say Balsale and um, you know Athora, for example, at that base seven K. You know without being affected by effects, seven K power is usually enough to take down stuff. So that's interesting to see. I believe I don't remember if I went over a lot of these cards before, but. Definitely seeing this new stuff. It's definitely a lot more exciting and you really have a lot of cards to work with as well Like this card also caught my eye black dragon Nabu 1000 power 1000 defense critical of one so at the end of this card's battle if You have two more world names on your field You may choose the thunder empire and drop zone and destroy this card if you do put the top cards next to your gauge and put the chosen card into your hand so First off this card is interesting because you can destroy him Get a Thunder Empire Monster Ring Drop Zone and Gauge. So I'm already thinking of a combo right here. So let's say you've got um, two, one Gauge, let's say for example, and you've got this monster in River Pain and an item on your field. So first off, he's technically Boomerang Dragon. Like he doesn't return hand, but he basically can attack, destroy himself. Your item now has room to attack, and then you get let's say a Bob Bots from Drop Zone into your hand, and now you put the top card deck into your Gauge. You now have enough Gauge to call Bob Bots River Pain. Your item attacks, and then now you have enough Gauge to call Bob Bots. So definitely having access to your drop zone is really interesting, and to be able to get that free gauge during your battle phase is definitely nice. I feel like Bot Six Link can do it just fine, but definitely an interesting card. Just yeah, you know, aggro. I don't know. Try and come up with some combos. Um, definitely try and get Battle Bots out there and just get as many attacks as possible. This card is also really interesting. Now, if I remember correctly, um, I think this was from the trial deck. I don't remember. So I'm not going to confirm that, I don't want to click onto the link, but basically, it's ability, behind edge, when a card in your opponent's field is destroyed, if there are two more will names on your field, stand on Thunder Empire in your field. So it's an interesting card, the only problem with it is that you do have to destroy a card on your opponent's field. So when a card in your opponent's field is destroyed, now I'm just repeating myself, but what I'm saying is that um, a card in your opponent's field has to be destroyed, which can be a problem sometimes. Um, for some reason I thought it was monster, but Thunder Empire mainly focuses on attacks, maybe Black Dragon aggro can be a thing, I, I honestly don't know. But definitely interesting to see that there's a stand card other than like Botsix again, or um, like that Black Dragon spell we saw before. So it's definitely interesting, it just says a card on your opponent's field, so it can be an item, a spell, uh, what else is there? Um, monsters as well, obviously. So. You know, maybe somehow during your battle phase, um, you need another attack, so you destroy your post monster to the left, stand your bots or whatever, and you get another free attack, which is definitely interesting. Um, again, you need to have that two or more real names on your field, but I think that's going to be pretty standard throughout a lot of the new Thunder Empire cards. That's definitely a really cool card. So, I believe that is going to be about it. This one's also a pretty cute card, interesting effect. But I think that's basically about it, and I'm literally just repeating myself here in a loop probably because I'm tired. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, tell me what you think, and I definitely want to see what you guys think about these new cards. Definitely the Thunder Empire ones, like, 
Thunder Empire is definitely going to be able to come back. They can't be returned to hand. They have so many stand cards now. Well, not basically stand effects. As you saw from that new size, Black Dragon size 1. Um, Bot X again, you know, that already existed. Overturn, like, especially with Lance and Bot X Link, that can just get them gauged, have a look. There's also the new um, size 1 Ninja for Thunder Empire that can scan the top 3 cards of your deck. So definitely, Thunder Empire is looking really, really, really strong right now. So, love to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later next Buddy Fight video. Have a great day.